For now, let's see how we can trace Heaven's Gate mechanism in Windows. Uh, within uh, X, uh, uh, X86 uh, processor or 32-bit uh, processors, uh, if uh, a thread wants to switch between the compatibility mode uh, to the long mode or the 64-bit mode, uh, <coughs> Then uh, a mechanism is used, which is called Heaven's Gate. Uh, this uh, Heaven's Gate is located at the code uh, segment selector of 0x33, and it identifies a call gate inside the global descriptor table or GDT table. Uh, <clears throat> you can read more about it on the internet. There are a lot of resources in which they talk about how, why uh, a heaven gate uh, must exist. And this mechanism makes us able to run a 32-bit application on a 64-bit uh, operating system or on a 64-bit uh, processor. Uh, the context switching uh, process occurs multiple times throughout the lifespan of a WoW 64 process and is essential for its compatibility with the Windows 64 uh, bit kernel. Uh, in Hyper DVG, it's super easy to trace these mechanisms. Uh, we have a, a command which we previously introduced it. Uh, it's in instrumentation a stepping command or i command in hyper dvg and uh, as we have access to both sysret instructions we can see how windows uh, returns from a heaven's gate and uh, we will we can see that how they implement the sysret instruction uh, in the compatibility mode so we have a demo of uh, this tracing later, but uh, for now uh, we want to analyze a Windows system called service routine. Uh, this is just a brief explanation of how uh, syscall instruction uh, works before uh, before uh, giving some examples. Uh, I want to uh, just inter uh, just explain some of the basic concepts about the syscall instruction. Uh, whenever uh, a user mode application tries to run syscall instruction, Windows jumps uh, to the address located, uh, the, uh, the address of where Windows continues normal execution is located at IA32 LS star uh, MSR register and uh, after uh, executing a bunch of instructions it dispatches the address from the SSD table SSDT table SSDT or uh, system service dispatch table is an array of addresses uh, and uh, it just shows the user mode applications uh <laughs> that uh what what is the exact routine in the kernel that is responsible for handling a special system call uh when a program in user space uh calls of functions let's say create file or we want to uh, execute create file a uh in the user mode then the code execution is transferred to uh uh Unicode version of this uh, function and then it passes to the NTDLL uh, which is the uh, user mode get of the system calls for the regular system calls in the uh, windows and uh, you eventually call anti-create file via, uh, via a syscall uh, and uh, uh, then a system call is executed and we will run some instruction which which are related in the kernel which are related to finding uh, the exact routine which is responsible for handling anti create file and in kernel and uh, in anti module or anti os kernel uh, anti os kernel anti create file the same name uh, as anti dll in the kernel side is also responsible for handling the calls to the anti-create file.
this call is merely an index in a system uh, service dispatch table uh, which contains an array of pointers for a 32-bit OS or uh, a relative offset to the SSDT for a 64-bit OS. Uh, and to all, it's, uh, this uh, address is available to all the critical system APIs like ZW, create files, ZW, open file, and so on. Combined with Heaven's Gate, we want to see a demo of HyperDVG, how we can trace these mechanisms uh, step by step. So let's see the demo. Okay, uh, we just want to see how we can use the instrumentation step-in mechanism uh, to uh, trace the HyperDVG, to trace the Windows routines which are, which are related to the Heaven's Gate. Uh, for this purpose, I uh, wrote a, a very simple application. Uh, the source code of this, uh, this application is also available uh, on the website. Uh, you can, uh, as you can see in this uh, simple application, I try to directly call a system call uh, from NTDLL function. First, I just print the process ID and the thread ID. Uh, and after that, we will kind of, after pressing the enter the entire application uh, will run. Uh, we load uh, NTDLL uh, as a module here, and we find the address for NT create file and NT write file and NT close file uh, close uh, function. Saved it here. We also have uh, their uh, definitions here, the definition of these functions here. And at last, I try to run uh, just run uh, this uh, simple uh, <coughs> code that uh, saves the hello world to uh, a file named uh, in my desktop, which is called hyperduji.txt. You can change its username to your username if you want to test it. And uh, this just uh, makes the environment ready for the system call, making the instruction, making the structures ready. Then we have a breakpoint here because we want to test heaven gates. Uh, we have we put a, a breakpoint here. It's just like a simple. 0xcc or in3 instruction it acts like this and after that i try to run this uh, system call and so we will see how it works if it was successful then uh, then we continue our normal execution which we eventually want to put the hello world in this file but if it was not successful then Failed to create file uh, with the error number is uh, shown here, and the problem uh, the, the program exits with, with an error. So here it is. Uh, it, this this is just a simple example. So let's run it on our machine. Um, I just try to build this. Uh, and also uh, note that this is a 32-bit application because I want to show you the Heaven's Gate. I compiled it in 32-bit uh, mode. If, we, uh, if I just compiled it in 64-bit mode, then there, there was no Heaven Gates. Uh, I attached uh, the uh, WinDVG here. Uh, and, uh, we just run or windows find the executable files related yeah here it is I also compiled HyperDVG. You can use the HyperDVG 
binary files. Um, again, we try to connect to the target system. Uh, and yeah, it's connected. Uh, after that, uh, uh, I run this uh, program. And it's not executed yet. So it says that uh, press any key to continue. So I press enter here. And as you can see that the system is no locked or uh, the system is not halted. And we pass the execution back to the HyperDVG here. So we encountered uh, uh, CC uh, or in three uh, instructions, and now we can continue our normal executions. Uh, I just tried to run uh, uh, instrumentation uh, a stepping command to single step through the instructions. So a simple I command. And the next instruction is this. So I try to uh, run more commands, like 100 commands. And still, we are in the user mode. But as you mentioned here, let, let's see. Let's see uh, the source code uh, first. Uh, in the source code, as you can see here, we are calling anti create file. Anti create file. Uh, uh, there is a website in this link here uh, uh, that uh, you can see the system call numbers. It's not uh, currently available uh, at the time that I'm recording. It's not available for Windows 11. However, uh, it's th this special system call is the same as Windows 10. So I just search for anti create file. And as you can see here, the syscall number for uh, anti create file remains the same uh, to 0x55 in Windows 10. So uh, here uh, we're going to intercept the 55 uh, system calling Windows. Now let's go back to uh, this code and uh, in this uh, debugger session uh, here we run uh, an instruction a call instruction is here and as you can see somewhere here the uh, windows or in ntdla tries to put 0x55 or 55 on eax which represents the system call number and then we call the edx and here we have a far jump which on uh, GDT 33 uh, entry. So it just uh, changes the execution from 32 bit uh, to 64 bit. And in the 64 bit, you can see that these instructions are running in Windows. Windows tries to uh, save some of the registers here and after that, we are uh, running in 64-bit uh, mode of the processor here. We don't have access to the 64-bit registers and the execution is in compatibility mode. However, here we are in 64-bit uh, mode. And as you can see that the addresses will eventually change. Uh, will eventually change to the 64-bit addresses. and. Uh, this is how Windows executes the uh, Heaven's Gate mechanism. And you can you can just try continue uh, the execution until you reach the kernel. I think saw it in the previous sessions, but let's just continue the execution from here. So yeah, I just paused it here, and uh, as you can see. Uh, 
bunch of instructions are running here and at last windows uh, runs a syscall instructions and after the syscall instruction uh, the execution is more is uh, changed from the user mode to the kernel mode we have a swap js instructions and uh, the, these instructions are related to uh converting uh the uh, for dispatching the system because if you want to just see the uh function names uh you can also load the symbols in this session i didn't load the symbol so let's just make the symbol table i think i don't have this okay the system call numbers the symbol is not available let's just make the symbol and reload them yeah no no we have the uh, symbols and uh, uh, the symbols are now configured in our uh, debugger session 